just get listen, check it out now. God damn. Now it looks like NBA Youngboy is on that Tupac Me Against the World shit because he's basically shooting shots at everybody, all right? I think Youngboy has gotten to the place in his career where he's like, yo, you know what? The industry clearly is picking size and they're playing favorites and they're playing size. And right now, he doesn't have those high powered friends in the industry and he's willing to go out shooting, aiming shots at everybody. And he ain't begging for friends. He's saying, fuck all y'all, okay? Now, uh, in his recent song that he dropped pretty much this morning, it's called uh, Know Like I Know. He basically gets at NLE Chopper, and he sends a lot of shot at Dirk, okay? Now, he starts off off the top by saying, I bet your mama be destroying, nigga, when we send your stupid ass to God for making statements, choosing sides about my beef with the little boys. I can say I saw it. You can say I was your favorite, nigga. Better stay up in your place, bitch. Fuck around and get your face split. They know I'm a demon. You ain't meet the devil till they see me. The day I get them hit, I get them hit. We gonna kill a bitch inside of Neiman's for any reason. I don't give a fuck how you treat your body. Give a fuck about your cleaning. I don't give a fuck about no bitch. You can have these hoes because I don't need them. They know I step on shit. Playing around with that slime, I seen blues. Know you, uh, know you in tune by how we knock him down like dominoes. Young boy Luciano, we pull up on the side and shoot up the car though. Plenty clips like Leonardo. Yo, listen, listen, listen. listen. Basically, that whole verse is going at NLE Chapel. He basically telling him that yo, he don't give a damn about this NLE chakra joint he got going on. Talking about he's eating kale, okay. Talking about he's he, he's drinking green juice, okay. All this, this, all this type of, you're going to grow the season, grow the plants that you eat, this herbal spices. Young boy ain't into that. He's only into smoking on ops, okay? That's what he's basically saying. Also, I believe at one point, Annalie did say that young boy was like, you know, one of the favorite rappers. Clearly, young boy don't give a fuck about it. I think also Annalie messed around with one of young boy's exes in the, in the past. Clearly, young boy is saying, I don't give a fuck about them hoes you, you mess around with that I used to mess around with, okay? Now, he wasn't done with NLE, but he also had to get at Dirk, okay? And by the way, he started off the second verse by saying, nigga, you better ask Blasian about me. Blasian's actually a chick who was young boy's ex that later on NLE went on to date. But he continued by saying, you better ask Blasian about me, how we catch him bad and taking shit, leave him stripped. The police gonna think we, huh, I'm not gonna say that word. Nigga better not play with this. And my mama know I'm a demon seat. I'm in the face and shit. Hope your niggas know not to be inside that car. Soon as a Draco hit. Oh, pussy ass nigga. Ain't no copping, please. You shouldn't have said shit. You ain't getting no pass, nigga. You gonna rep the same block as that bitch. That's gonna be your ass, nigga. Who running? Ducking all these sticks. I'm letting you know I ain't leaving on this bitch. Nigga, suck my dick. I'm facing seven years. I ain't known to shed a tear. These niggas dying. I be the slime. These niggas could click up all they want. Bitch, cross the line. He, oh, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, he's robbing right here. Usually, I'm, I'm used to young boy for all these melodies, but it's, he's robbing right here. I ain't gonna lie to you. He posting comms, but ain't got more whips than I. Huh? All you whole ass niggas ain't got more millions than AI. On the phone with stud of my five. Now it's my time. Where in the house reside? These niggas lucky claiming that they thugging, but know that be my style. Scary ass ain't realer than my child. Means to win. Bitch, I'm gonna dive if no gun on my side. I'm a gangster. And all that claiming that they propose, I bet I make a stop. Damn. Now, most of those lines are aimed towards Dirk, and I think they're pretty self-explanatory. He's basically saying, yo, we'll get you to rep the same block that, and he's talking about King Von clearly, because, you know, King Von died, and that's the O block, and he rapped about, O Block Pack. Clearly, Lil Dirk ain't from O Block. He's basically saying that, yo, you keep, yo, we could, you, the same thing happened to you. That's what he's saying pretty much at Dirk, okay? Then, verse three, he's like, yo, all these niggas want to be the biggest rapper while I'm trying to wrap him in a body bag and with a toe tag in his last meeting with the pastor. I know a nigga, and by the way, this is a clear Dirk diss. Dirk has a thing where he always knows a nigga. So if you listen to Dirk, he'll mention like, he know, he know a nigga who, you know what I mean? sell weight without no scale, you know, a nigga who, like, you know what I mean, like, you know, all type of niggas, so that's why he, you know, he's talking to Dirk, he said, I know a nigga that got Instagram and Twitter, still ain't trying to 
Um, he said, how they play with me? And he know I play for keeps, knowing I will clap him. I don't give a fuck, my nigga. Just like your friend, you about to, I think it's, he was saying you about to die, my nigga. You ain't ready for to see some brains laying around the club. Them niggas scared, no, they can't fuck with us. But that's the side you run with. No, my mama, no, my sister, and all my brothers be on that dumb shit. I'm a grown-ass man, so on the internet, I don't post pics. By the way, that's a clear this to, to uh, Lil Dirk, who posted a picture of him and King Von after you, we saw that young boy dissed King Von, okay? Then he says, I'm caught up in this thug life, and I'm still hiding from the feds list in my bed. My first thought, man, I said this, whole industry don't know me, but they still want to see my head split. Hey, yo, I'm going to be honest with you. Young boy has taken clearly the path that the industry is against him and he's playing one against everybody. Everybody. And I think he's taking aim at any nigga who jumps in this, whatever you want to call it, if you want to call it 4K Trey versus OTF, whatever you want to call it, anybody who doesn't stay on the sidelines and anybody who is, you know, co-signing uh, a little Dirk or co-signing or taking a side of little Dirk, you're getting shots sent at you, musically, of course, but clearly he's saying he's down to go all the way. Now, again, I think this is a very dangerous thing to do because in this music industry, everybody does need friends, but I think Young Boy is saying, fuck that, that's over with. Also, Young Boy is a very hot rapper. He got a, he got a huge fan base. I think his fan base is going to activate a little bit more too. You know why? Because now he's the underdog. No matter what you want to say, you don't see young boy hanging around with a bunch of other popular rappers. He's kind of just doly. So, again, we're going to see how this goes, but I could see a lot more. Um, you, you know, some people are going to say, well, 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 this is him antagonizing. And to some extent, this is very true. He's definitely antagonizing. He's continuing the beef on record. But who am I to say how he should handle whatever situations that might be already happening in the streets? If you can't tell somebody who's already, you know, there's been street incidents pertaining to these issues, you can't tell them don't rap about it. So again, I'm watching how this plays out. I think Dirk handles these situations different from from um, Young Boy. Dirk ain't the guy who's gonna be, you know, saying too much, even though he's always gonna have these little hints. That's where you see the Instagram picture. He's probably gonna have some lines on his songs, right? But clearly, when you listen to Young Boy, he coming straight for the head. And that's exactly what he did on this song. I could imagine everybody else who has not been involved in this feud between him and Lil Durk is probably listening to this and saying, let me just stay out of it if I really ain't about to ride for either one of these dudes, okay? Because it seems like it's escalating, and it seems like, you know, he mentions his, the, the, the seven years he's facing. Seems like he also probably knows that, hey, he might have to go sit down for a little while, but he not about to go sit down and, like, yo, know, try to put on that church boy act in terms of the music he's making going into that, he's telling you right now, fuck it, okay? We'll see what it is, man. But, of course, NBA Youngboy, he is firing from the hip at anybody who's taking the side of Lil Durk. He clearly just gave uh, NLE Chopper a verse or two. And, again, if I was anybody on the sidelines, unless you're really rocking heavy with either group, stay the hell on out of it, okay? What do you guys think about this, man? Youngboy's actually rhyming, man. He's rhyming on, on these joints. But clearly, he's on house arrest, and he got a lot to get off his, uh, uh, off his uh, mind. Well, I'm just getting box. What do you guys think about this? Is young boy going too far, or is he doing exactly what you knew he would do? You let me know. Get in the box. Come on.